Did you want to experience the authentic Viking life here in Norway? Welcome to Leirangir Viking Park. But before we start, let me share with you fun facts and information about Vikings. Who are the Vikings? The Vikings are raiders, pirates, traders, explorers, and colonizers during the 19th to 11th century. They often traveled by the sea using their Viking ship or cargo ship. If you're wondering where Vikings originally came from, Vikings were seafaring people originally from Scandinavia. Up to the present day, it is Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. In Norway, they have the Viking Ship Museum that is located at Bygdøy that has three of the world's best preserved Viking ships. And did you know that up to the present time, you can still feel the authentic way of Viking life if you will join some of the Viking festival and Viking market that are annually celebrated all over Norway. In this Viking festival or Viking market, you will be able to buy some of the Viking things or products that they produce that are inspired during the Viking time they also have viking accessories that are made of steel and bronze vikings also love to decorate with different colorful beads stone medallions and crystal they also often create their own shoes using the leather from the goats Lager du sko bare med hanna? Er det sånn ekte ski? Ja, det er geit. Åh, geit, ja. Wow. Hvor lang tid tar det for å lage sånn? Kommer man på størrelsen sko? For eksempel sånn type... Jeg tror jeg begynner å klippe mønster. Så tar det noe... Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. They also have fun activities that you can try, just like throwing of the axe. Yeah. Can do you my tips? Yeah. There. Not there. 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 Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Right. And so, don't you throw axes on here, right? No. No, you're all right. And so, here you go. Mm-hmm. Right. Og så slipper du øksa når hanna, bruk hanna som sitter, den knytnaven din er på blinken. Ok. Ok, bare lett, ja. Nei. Skal du bruke begge navene? Ja. Ok. Da gjør du akkurat samme. Da tar ikke du øksa, ikke der. Midt over hodet, over hodet. Så det er ikke sånn. Bare sånn? Sånn. Ah, hei. Så står bare her. Ja, litt mer kraft. Nesten. Er det bare to for sjokk? Ja. En til. Det skal være tre økse, ikke sant? Ja, hei. Ja, hei. Ja, det var nesten. Nesten. Det var nesten. Another activity that I've tried is shooting the arrow. This is the way how Vikings hunt their food. Ja. Da vil jeg at du skal stå litt sånn. Sånn? Ja, mot blinken. Mhm. Du sikter med fotene. Mhm. Så du er høyrehent? Ja. 
Dan ja, det om och gör. Så. Ja, och så tar du med kun fingertuppen. Bara det. Ja, som det här och drar bak. Så. Och släppen med lättare. Och för att dra med rak arm så drar mm -hmm. du fram till det och så flytt när du tror du drar. Så. Ja, mer upp till ansiktet. Kan jag se? Ja, så. Så. Ja. Oj. Ja, oj. Jättebra. <laughs> ja, det är första gången. Nej, det tror jag man på. Men eh, är vikingen brukar det att för i gamla dagar? Ja. Ja. De drapp för ungen med det här. Okej. Håll till okay. hon klamma samman till alltså mycket. Så. Sån ja. Ja. Sista. Ja, det är det här. Ja. Nej, jag vet. Ja, så vi. Nej. Mhm. Det lättar med tre fingrar. Tre, så. Ja, för då blir det där då. Ja, tusen tack. Ja. Wow. Kämpa fint. Ja. Det lager det selv. Skjønn det bare. Det kan brukes også litt som gitar. Det er samme som gitar. Ikke helt. Hen bare skal du trenger. Ikke noe greier. From instruments, they are also selling some of the clothes during the Viking era. If you are wondering what kind of clothing did Vikings wear, the men preferred trousers and tunics, while the women dressed in strap dresses worn over undergarments. Ordinary Viking clothes were made of local materials like wool and flax woven by the women. Det er en kar fra Russland som har laget den hos meg for noen år siden. Så jeg fikk tilgangen til det funnet. Da funnet var bare to måneder. Så da fikk jeg da all den informasjonen jeg trong fra Vittsomstøtte i Trondheim. Hva kan du si om din klær? Hva er det på nå? Skolespenner. Ok. Ja, og det hadde de. Store og veldig små. Det her er en kopi fra et funn i Nord-Trøndelag, i en grav. Og det her, det er en sånn her smykke. Det var egentlig så jeg tilhørte det til sverde til krigerne til Karl den Store. Men de fant vikingene, tok den med seg hjem og brukte det til pynt i Norge. Og damene, de hadde masse smykker, masse perler. Ja, legg merke til at det er sånn forskjellige stein og kristaller og sånn. Ja, ja. De likte veldig godt farger, og de likte å pynte seg. Så mange har, ja, mange, mange, mange perler. Ja, jeg har bare to rader. Ja, kjempefint. Jeg hadde ting oppi. Tennstål. Og jeg har øks. Jeg skal egentlig ha en liten kniv her, men den har jeg ikke hengende her i dag. Den har jeg tatt bort. Kanskje stilig. Vikings wear different kinds of clothes depending on your status and your gender, if you are a woman, a man, if you are a warrior or a hunter. Today we are here in Viking Market in Lensvik and we have here... Jonathan? Yeah, Jonathan. Yes. And we're going to dress you. To dress me? Oh yes, my we're God. going to dress you. Yeah. Uh, up to 
to the point as the king's guest. Okay, let's which, which is a point of uh, showing off wealth mm -hmm. and the ability to defend yourself. Oh, sure. Right, so we are going to start with a hood and it's called a crave mm -hmm. in Norwegian. The crave okay. is there to protect your hair mostly mm -hmm. uh, because what's coming next Mm -hmm. Will be pulling your hair if you get so yeah, if you give it okay. half of an opportunity. The helmet. We, no, the next the thing is a male hobergeon. Okay. There so. is a short chain mail, and mm -hmm. I'll be I'll hold the, your mic for you whilst you put it on. But it, you put it on like a t-shirt, so you mm -hmm. just go underneath there. It is made of what? This is made of steel. Oh, steel. <laughs> yep, this, this is ten kilos of steel. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not prepared with this. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. And give it a look. Yep, you've mm -hmm. uh, effectively put on. Mm -hmm. But there's no point in just having protected your body if I can just hit you in the head. So the helmet comes next. And mm -hmm. uh, here's the helmet. Wow. With what's called an aventail. Mm -hmm. The aventail is to protect your neck. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you have a shield, both to protect you and the person standing next to you, and oh. a weapon, and the weapon. to, to uh, fight the enemy. Oh my god, so they are fighting like this? Yes, and uh, the Battle of Hastings, yeah. famously in Britain where William the Bastard, later known as the Conqueror, uh, uh, conquered England, it lasted for over 12 hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, and... Uh, Gold Vincent's and uh, uh, Willem the Conqueror's men would all be carrying equipment like this. Uh, and uh, they would do it for hours on end. And they would fight in it and run in it. I can't imagine how to fight with this kind of heavy metal in your body. So very, very few had uh, that sort of mail. It, it was the rich who had it or those who were professional soldiers. And that's a very small part of society back then. So, uh, those who had it wore it almost every day. And that is to get used to the weight that you, you get. It, it is a form of training, yeah. right? You, you, I feel you, I'm training right now. Right, yeah. Uh, I have a friend of mine who, who ran half marathons. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he used to jog around with his mail on uh, to train. Oh, yeah. that, that, that was how he trained to do the, uh, the marathons. So, and <laughs> yes, uh, th now you're going to start feeling light, uh, just taking things off again. Mm -hmm. So um, now it's the question, do you want me to help you off with it or do you want to learn the chain mail dance? Oh, what is the chain mail dance? dance? Yeah, yeah, the chain mail dance. Yeah, okay. The chain mail dance is uh, how uh, historically mm -hmm. the mail was taken off. Oh. So you grab the mail in the back of the neck and then you will, whilst pulling the mail, you will throw yourself as far, uh, far forward as you can. And then you will do a crawling motion with your shoulders to help it fall off you. Okay. That is the chain mail dance. Uh, hold the mic. <laughs> All right. So first I will throw myself like yeah, that. Grab the, the mail in the neck, throw yourself forward whilst pulling on the mail and then crawl with your shoulders. Okay, I can try. One. Yes. There you go, and crawling motion, crawling motion, crawling motion. See, there it comes, there it comes, and it falls right off. Woo. Oh my god. <laughs> and no. you've done the chainmail dance. <laughs> oh, it was quite an experience. Oh my god. And it's really heavy. Yes, uh, this is 10 kilos of steel. Yeah, 10 kilos of steel. And uh, yeah, that is uh, yeah. armor, as it was mm -hmm. in the, the, the Viking Age. So when you try the sword in here, it, it will be the defense mechanism. Right? Yes, yeah, so uh, this form of armor, uh, known as mail, uh, it is heavily effective against uh, chops. Mm -hmm. Because if I chop with a sword or an axe, you can see that I will hit many, many rings. Yeah, I see. So, so, so the, the force will be deflected. It is less effective against piercing attack stabs uh, because it hits less rings. Uh, this is why 
when you look at it you see that the rings are riveted together mm -hmm. uh, that is to stop them just being opened by a yeah. uh, so it takes the more force to stab wall. through yeah. no armor is ever you know an impenetrable is you will always be able to with enough force get through it but it's it takes that much more force meaning that the wound you get underneath it is that much less yeah, much. Um, and so a person wearing this is much more likely to be able to walk away from battle um, to survive the battle yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so if you have enough money because this oh, around the 8th century uh, century cost the same as eight milk giving cows. Oh, in that time, in yeah. Viking times. In Viking yeah. times. So, having eight cows that gives you milk. In it, this century, in this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's worth a heck of a lot more for most people than just having 10 kilos of steel lying oh. about. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it was extremely expensive because it's extremely hard to make. Um, and, uh, so it's handmade? They, they were, uh, and this, they, they still are, because I know of no machine made to make... Uh, like put it one by one. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but there are techniques to make, do it faster. Uh, the, this one, as you can see, is like every other ring is uh, a full circle. It's, yeah. And the, every other ring is riveted. Uh, oh. That means that you, when you put in the rig that you have the rivet, you weave in full rings as you do that. So to uh, make it go faster. I'm uh, wondering where will be the next place, the Viking market or this uh, group? Like in this <sighs> uh, for my group, uh, some of us is going north to Lofoten. Okay. Uh, and then we're, uh, some of us are going down to uh, uh, Midgårdsblot in Bode. Yeah, 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 and then it will be uh, Jallarstadir in Lillestrøm. Do you have Facebook page or website? Uh, Vedrar is our uh, group. Uh, it means ram in ancient Norse. Um, hence the ram on the front of my shield. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, That's it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned about the Viking life here in Norway. Hade!